Hello everyone, this is Tamara with From the Treetop and today I'm going to be speaking with you about our Seaside Action Collection. I'm just going to give you a quick overview and show you a few of the actions um, in, in real time. Um, today I'm going to start with the color and tones of the shore. These are the different color enhancement actions. I'm going to go ahead and play watercolor and let you see how um, just by one click I've really dramatically enhanced my image. Uh, that's my before and here's my after and it just really brings up the blues works beautifully when you've had an overcast day at the beach and there's a lot of gray um, in the sky and it, and it really just brightens up your image these these actions can be as subtle or as dramatic as you like and each action features adjustable layers that will allow you to customize it according to the needs of your image I always suggest using a well exposed image to begin with these actions are not going to enhance your image if it's it's underexposed. So go ahead and do that first and then select your action to play. Let's go ahead and try another of the color actions. This one is called Sand Dollar and Sand Dollar is a warmer action and it gives us more of those warm um, undertones rather than the blues but it's still really lovely. And another action that is very, very popular is the Popsicle. This is a simple color pop and this can be used um, in conjunction with some of the other actions. For example, if you wanted to use Popsicle and then play uh, the Beachy Days action on top of that, you could just bring down that opacity and it's going to give us a nice hazy effect on the, um, on the image. So that's our before and our after. Seaside also features three black and white actions and I'm going to go ahead and play one of those now. Uh, the one I've selected is called Driftwood and um, it, as in all of my action sets I always create an original black and white layer and then um, the action effect layer for example the, the Driftwood effect. That way if Driftwood at you know at 100% is just a little too much for your image you can always play with the opacity of the Driftwood layer and uh, still have your basic black and white underneath. And as always, if you open the folder, also Driftwood has its own adjustable layers, like for, for example, more or less haze, uh, exposure, uh, play, etc. That one is Driftwood, and there's also a classic black and white that's a nice uh, crisp black and white designed for beach images. Uh, let me go ahead and demonstrate the sea glass action. Uh, I'm going to play popsicle first and then I'm going to run uh, sea glass. Now sea glass is more of a brush because you're going to paint on the areas where you desire um, more blue in your image and it can be in the water or it could be on the sky. So I'm just selecting a nice soft white brush and um, with my um, I'm going to select the black layer here and just start painting over the areas where I desire a little more blue. And you can see how it's adding the blue to my image as I paint. And so that's just for an additional pop if you'd like a little more drama in your water. So you can see how sea glass works there. Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate one of my favorite actions from this set. Uh, it is the virtual reflector action. Um, the beach is, you know, can be a light challenge, especially for natural light. And so I created this action to go ahead and help you bring out your subject when at times your backlighting may be um, an issue. So let me go ahead and play the virtual reflector on this on this image and just show you how it will, brighten her, it will brighten up my subject without completely blowing out my highlights. And I'm going to go ahead and bring down the opacity just a bit. And you can see the difference of the before and the after. And this works really well on images that are in cloudy environments or in sun. And um, I'm also going to demonstrate the um, spectacular uh, sunset Im uh, action for you with this image. Spectacular Sunset is also a brush much like sea glass but the difference is if you open the folder you're going to find different colors here that you can use. It's set for the orange as a default and let's go ahead and paint on and let me demonstrate what that looks like. A lot of times you know our 
our beautiful sunset uh, can get kind of blown out and we can lose detail and we want to go ahead and preserve the overall lighting of the image but we want to also capture that beautiful sunset so I'm just painting over it and um, this also can be adjusted if it's a little too much for you you can bring it down if it's too dramatic or if it's not enough you can always uh, amp it up uh, the orange is selected we can combine these we can add some of the pink if we like and get rid of the orange or we could do all three with the blue uh, and just play with those and get the uh, result that you like it's kind of fun to experiment to see what looks best so that is the spectacular sunset and the virtual reflector okay so next I'm going to demonstrate a few of the beauty actions that are included in this set I'm gonna start by running starry-eyed Starry eyed is just to um, go ahead and brighten up the eyes and add light back into the eyes. It also will take away any um, red that may be in your subject's eyes. A lot of times the beach can cause us to have a little bit of irritation and it will take care of that. Um, I do prefer a subtle effect with the eyes, but you can go uh, pretty fairly dramatic and artistic with this action if you like. So as you can see, it just gave her a little bit of um, brightness to her eyes and got rid of some of the red. I'm going to uh, select sun kissed cheek next and in this case I don't think she needs any um, color on the uh, on the right side here but I'm going to add some color to this cheek and again I've selected a white soft brush with uh, the layer the black layer mask selected and just going to paint that in subtly bring it down to about 23 percent so that I have a you know a definite effect but it's definitely more natural and subtle okay so you can see the before and the after these are subtle effects but they are very uh, you know necessary to a great image let me go ahead and um, run one other of the color actions for you the sunlit this is a really beautiful action it's very strong so you're probably going to want to lower the opacity on it uh, it's a glowing warm action I like it whenever I want to add that sun kissed feel to the image you can see before and after and if you're not a fan of the glow you can open up the folder and just come down here to where the blur and glow layers are and simply either adjust them or turn them off so now you can see it without the glow so here it is with glow and without and here is our image um, originally and after our edits so there you have it that is an overview of our seaside actions I hope that you've enjoyed learning a little more about this collection if you visit our website from the you can see a before and after gallery that will show you a little uh, more before and afters using different actions from this set um, as always if you scroll down to the bottom you'll find a PDF booklet that gives you a description uh, more in depth on each action and what it does thanks so much until next time